Well, hello. It's Stupid Monkey. I'm back. I uh, haven't really had anything to show you guys for videos or anything like that, so it's time to get started showing you guys more stuff. I ordered me a beautiful airplane. I hope it comes out just as good as everybody says it is. Um, here's the box. FMS from Motion RC. It is the 1450mm P51B Snoots Sniper. I'm excited as hell. Let's go ahead and see what this box brought with it. <clears throat> well, they taped it up incredibly well. Looking over the box itself, there's really no dings and dents unless you look at the bottom of it. And there's all kinds of crap going on down there, but you know that's not the plane itself. So let's get the, let's get the plane out of the box. Let's do that. Oh yeah, buddy! I'm so excited! I've been waiting for this thing for like since Friday of last week. And every day I've been checking and hoping everything would show up. I got the receiver for it and the charger and everything the other day. But, uh, you know, just waiting for the plane itself to come has been the, been the, the real trick. And I got a little t tested notification from Motion RC. I guess they, they saying it's tested. It says thank you to my wife. Spent a pretty good penny on that. <clears throat> and inside the box comes another box. Awesome. Had a lot of boxes. Oh, come on now. Get out of there. Here we go. Now, let's just slide that right on off of there. So here's the box, and that's what the plane's supposed to look like when it's all done and said. I'm pretty sure she will. Now, on the box it says that it's got an ESC, 70 amp ESC with a 5 amp uh, SBEC, 17, gear, 17 gram metal gear servos, bolt-on tail structure, sliding battery tray, the clips in, I know about that. Most of you guys have watched the videos for or are looking into this have already seen this. Scale landing gear and door sequencer and more robust landing gear structure. Hmm. Well, all that's fine and dandy, but let's see what's in here. Oh, I see we've got a handle so you can pull the styrofoam out. And of course I've pulled it out of the box upside down. That's awesome. Well, there's no scars or anything like that on the bottom of this thing. There's no scars on the top of the box. A little bit of foam. Don't want that. We can have that. Open it up and see what we got inside. What the hell, Mike? Work. All right. Well, first things first is uh, right on top. You got your right on top. We've got all this. Look at that. I wonder what's all in there. I don't know. So let's go ahead and start peeling it apart. A wing tube. Well, that's, the planes only have one. I have none of them were this big. 
This is my first big plane. And then we have one wing half. Look at this thing. Everything's already all mounted in it. The landing gear doors are all on it. Everything's on it. Looks like a, for the drop tanks, it's a little slide in. A little doohickey. The uh, servos are already mounted in the wing. That's pretty cool. Got to mount the servo horns though. There's not, they're not in there yet. And looks pretty good. There's no dings in the wing at all. Whatsoever. Let's see what we got on this side. Yeah, wings look really good. Look at that. That is just awesome, isn't it? Pretty sweet, if you ask me. Let's see here. And then we got tail feathers there inside the bag. Looks pretty good. Don't see any cracks or anything like that. That's cool. And oh, look at that. There's a vertical stabilizer and the rudder. That again looks good. Don't see any cracks in it. There's no blemishes, anything like that. It's awesome. Oh, they gave me a catalog. They can tell I love FMS. I've always flown FMS. Well, I take that back. I haven't always flown FMS. I have a couple park zone models too. So, eh. Operating manual. It's for people that don't know how to operate, I guess. I don't know how to operate very well. I'm all screwed up if you ask me. <laughs> and then here's, uh, this would be the left wing. Again, everything's all there. No cracks in the in the flap and the ailerons. Flaps look good. I don't know, that was stuck together for some reason. Is the flap stuck stuck together in this one too. No, that one's pretty fun. Oh well. Cool. And we have, oh my god, look at the size of the spinner. And there's my hand, there's the spinner. Jesus Christ, that's huge. Huge. I'm give me a, some paper. We don't need that. We don't need this either. Hmm. Some stuff looks like I got a glue in. There's the drop tanks. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, that, that slides inside the those little ports. I was this is what I was talking about when I was looking at the bottom of the wing here. It's got this little doohickey here. And so you can slide your drop tanks right up inside there and fly around with them or take them out easily. It's better than screwing them or gluing them, I guess, huh? That's awesome. That's great. Another drop tank, that looks good. Some stuff. Oh, they even sent a screwdriver? What the heck? We got, we got a free screwdriver. That's awesome. That's cool. Awesome. Very good. Very cool. Very cool. Parts bag. Screws. Miscellaneous crap. Looks like my guns are in there. And some more stuff. Oh, yeah. Here's the lifeblood. Let's see, some more parts. Yeah, some more parts. Mm -hmm. Screw bag. Get in here. Get in here. Oh yeah, here, here we go. That's the lifeblood of the plane there. Two thirty six hundred forty C Admiral batteries with Dean's connectors. We got some glue. I don't normally use the glue, but uh, use their glue, but there's probably will on this plane. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We got the propellers. 
They even got, I don't know, you guys probably can't see it, but it's even got all the, all, all kinds of information written on the propeller, just like they would on the real plane. Exhaust stacks, that's got to be glued on. What else have we got in here? What else? Oh, geez. Holy crap. There's this thing right here. Man. Yeah, look at this. Oh, boy. Yeah, look at that fuselage. Holy crap. Hello, fuselage. It's got a pretty cool little pilot in there. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a, a perfect uh, cockpit or by, by no means, but motor seems to spin pretty pretty free that's just awesome that's just awesome oh, I'll, I'll bring the camera over here and we'll get a closer shot of this so that's what comes in the box of your FMS P51 Bravo Mustang see this face this face is a happy face man I'm happy about this Let's kick this shit out. So, a little bit closer view. There's my tail feathers. There's the top of the left wing. You know, it looks good, man. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Looks like they took some pretty good care of it. Care. There's that doohickey I was talking about right here. Servos are already installed. I'm stoked about that. There's my Mad Admiral batteries. They're all taped up and stuff. I can't get them out right now. Not with one hand. Well, maybe I can. Yep, I sure can. So. That's my 3600 4S 14.8 volt 40C battery. And exhaust stacks. You can't, can you see those very well in the plastic? Let's take the. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's the exhaust stacks. Yeah, look at all this hardware, man. Holy crap, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. I guess I'm going to have to do me some reading. Some more hardware. Uh, I'm pretty sure these go back in there. That's where it looks like it goes to. I don't know what they're called by a technical name, but pretty sure that's where they go. And then, I think I already showed you that. Look at this thing. I can't believe how big this freaking thing is. Look how big that is. And then there's our vertical stabilizer. And then the two drop tanks. And then this wing here. Yeah, no damage at all. Yet. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's pretty bad. So we got no damage. Everything's all installed. I'm pretty happy about that. I was thinking I was gonna have to do extra work, do more work than what I'm gonna have to do. And then here's the fuselage. I was gonna walk it around, but I'm not gonna walk it around. Look at that thing. Look at that. Ain't that just pretty? It's got the gold motor. That's a big motor. Holy crap, that's a big motor. It's got the gold motor in it. There's your pilot. Can we, let's see here. There's the pilot. He's pretty cool looking. What's up, dude? Looks like he's a little bit mad. Maybe they bounced him around a little bit. Let's pick this thing up. Move it to the other side so we can get some light on it. <coughs> and uh, there we go. Snoot Sniper. Look at that. That's a big plane. So, 
And then there's your instrument panel on the inside there. So, pretty happy. Pretty happy. I was going to shoot... I was going to shoot a whole build video on this thing and put it all together while filming, but I think it's going to take me quite a while. What do you guys think? I think so too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go step by step. And as I uh, do something, I'll give you guys an update on what I did. All right. Stupid monkey. About to monkey around. Have fun. Haha, <laughs> snoot sniper. Well, hello. It's Stupid Monkey. I'm back. I uh, haven't really had anything to show you guys for videos or anything like that, so it's time to get started showing you guys more stuff. I ordered me a beautiful airplane. I hope it comes out just as good as everybody says it is. Um, here's the box. FMS from Motion RC. It is the 1450mm P51B Snoots Sniper. Nice. Just that right on off of there. So here's the box. And that's what the plane's supposed to look like when it's all done and said. I'm pretty sure she will. Now, on the box it says that it's got a ESC, 70 amp ESC with a 5 amp uh, SBEC, 17, gear, 17 gram metal gear servos, bolt on tail structure, sliding battery tray that clips in, I know about that, most of you guys have watched the videos for the box, let's do that. I've been waiting for this thing for like since Friday of last week and every day I've been checking and hoping everything would show up. I got the receiver for it and the charger and everything the other day but uh, you know just waiting for the plane itself to come is in the... I'm excited as hell. Let's go ahead and see what this box brought with it. <clears throat> well, they taped it up incredibly well. Looking over the box itself, there's really no dings and dents unless you look at the bottom of it. And there's all kinds of crap going on down there, but, you know, that's not the plane itself, so let's get the let's get the plane out. Then the the real trick. And I got a little t tested notification from Motion RC. I guess they they saying it's tested. It says thank you to my wife. Spent a pretty good penny on that. <coughs> and inside the box comes another box. Awesome. Gotta love boxes. Oh, come on now. Get out of there. Here we go. Now, 